both started showing symptoms at around the age of three or four, but both of us were formally diagnosed at the age of five. We're definitely affected by having Fabry disease, even in the aspect of three of us have it and my mom doesn't. So it's, it's not a negative, but it's definitely something where the three of us know what's going on. But you know, we kind of have to catch her up a little bit and she's been such a great supporter through all of this, but it's definitely difficult. I think especially for her, just watching all of us, all of us kind of go through semi the same thing, but also in very different ways. So she's kind of been that main supporter and caregiver through this. And you know, even as parents, like especially like in terms of like mom and dad, just like watching their kids going through certain things and you know, just doctors not knowing, you know, you don't want to watch anybody you love go through pain or a hard time. So it's definitely impacted us in that way, but we're definitely a lot stronger as a family. It kind of sounds cliched, but really um, through something like this, it's kind of almost difficult not to become closer. So we do a lot together and they're definitely my main supporters in my life. So I'm very blessed with that. It was pretty hard, but I had my sister and my dad who also have the disease. So it was difficult mostly, but it really has built me up to be a really strong and independent person how I am today. So it was definitely really hard when I was younger, just having to be different, like I said earlier, but I think it really worked out for the best and made me who I am today. I think how it affects me as a young person is just not having a lot of people that know exactly what you're going through. It's been frustrating growing up and kind of telling your story to every single person you meet, especially growing up with like teachers and like Fayed, you know, you had to, each year you had to tell like seven teachers the same thing. So it definitely gets, you know, a little bit repetitive and frustrating, but like it's for the best. So just like not knowing, like people not knowing about it, but there's definitely been ways that we've kind of handled that. Like a number of years ago, we went to a, a camp in North Carolina that it's called Victory Junction. And it was a camp of all families with Aubrey disease, which was amazing to see just because we had never met any kids that had the same thing as us so that was definitely life-changing itself and not everyone has that opportunity so we're very blessed for that but it's just nice knowing that you're not alone and having people that you don't have to re-explain every single time you talk to them or you know like what you're going through they kind of just get it so yeah it's been tough just feeling kind of alone at times but i'm very lucky to have like my family and especially my sister I think it's nice to have a friend basically that knows how you're feeling and they actually know how you're feeling because they have the disease, they go through the same struggles. So as sisters, it's especially nice to have a close friend who knows exactly how you're feeling, exactly what you're going through and has experienced those hard times too. Yeah, because a lot of the times when you have like friends that obviously don't have the disease, you have to kind of explain everything, which is fine because you do give them credit for wanting to empathize with you and relate, but you don't even have to explain everything. And, you know, she's just right there and, you know, she's like, hey, like, this is kind of how I'm feeling today. And she knows exactly what I'm talking about, which helps a lot to have. 